Hello everyone. All right, I had did this video once before and halfway through the video, everything went blurry and you could not see anything. So I'm gonna do a recap on week one, check-in from August 9th to August 15th. So I laid down my stickers. We had a no spend on the 9th. And of course you can't see that. Let me move these out of the way for right now. All right. Okay. On the 9th we had a no spend and we had um, a Walmart for a 94.52. Then on the 10th we had a no spend and my husband got gas for $60. The 11th was a no spend. The 12th was a no spend. I just had the electric bill, which was 97.17. On the 13th, I had two transactions, one for household, one for personal care. Um, $8 for, for household was for a couple of things that I needed in the house coffee and stuff. I don't expect my son and daughter-in-law to pay half of the coffee when they don't drink it. So I just, uh, I just, me and my husband just buy it out of our own household money. $7 personal care. I had to get like shampoo and stuff. And I believe, or unless I had that backwards. Yes, personal care was $8 and household. So eight dollars was the shampoo and stuff, and the household for seven was coffee and a couple other little things that I picked up out of our household money. Uh, that was a spend day. The fourteenth was a spend day because I got Dunkin' and I took that out of my my own personal money for sixteen dollars. And then we had the fifteenth, which we just had Hulu for thirteen fifteen, and then that was considered a no spend day. So we're going to go on to our weekly check-in. It's already filled out, but we're going to go through the envelopes again so you can see that the money is still in there. Okay. Food, we had $120.75. All right. And we spent $94.52, so $26.23. There's nothing in this, as you can see. I keep this money in our household account. So when we do um, for food or anything like that, then we just take it from the household account. So that money is in the bank. And these are the budget sheets here for the food. I marked them off because I thought that, you know, the video was good and I ended up not being so hot halfway through the video. But August 10th, Walmart, $94.52. We got $26.23 left. And that's what we got there. So we're going, going to do that. We'll put that to the side. Now we have gas. That, that way. We had gas. Gas, we had $200. I gave my husband $60. Let me just tiny bit. There we go. Gave my husband 60 and he should have $140 left. 810 Speedway, $60, $140. We are going to count that in the envelope here. 20, 40, 60, 80, 120, 40. He has $140 left. That should get him well in, you know, more than enough to get through the month of August for gas. Okay, we have household. Household, we had $17. We spent 7 so we should have 10 And that was on the 13th. Amazon, $7 and $10 left. And we will count that. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So we are good with that. Personal care. Personal care, we had $40. We spent eight. 
and we should have $32 left. That was on the 13th for Amazon, $8, and we should have $32 left. We are going to count that. 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32. We are right on the money with that. Now, our buffer. We didn't spend anything out of our buffer. We had 25.02 for our buffer. We did not spend anything out of the buffer, so we still have $25.02 for the month of August. And unbudgeted, we don't budget anything for it. We didn't we didn't overspend for anything, so we never carry a balance with that either. But that was it with our check-in. I mean, I don't I was like disappointed with the first video because it just halfway through that video and everything was just like so blurry you could not you could not see anything in the video. So I said, you know what? I said I'm just gonna redo this. I said I'll recap you know what we did and you know show you the envelopes that the money that is in there is still in those envelopes but this past week from the 9th to the 15th is what we did we had one you just can't see that okay one two three four five no spend spend days that week which we are doing very well. That's about it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like. If you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing. I would love to have you as part of my YouTube family. If you go out, please stay safe, stay healthy, and I will catch you guys in the next video. God bless. Bye.